Hi, I'm Kat, and in this video I'll show you how to make these faux suede and leather bow bracelets. I love the way these turned out, and I especially love that I already had the materials for them laying around my house, and so they're entirely upcycled materials. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinaosity, check out my podcast at mdxpods.com, and if you enjoy this video, please click the like button, it really helps me out. For this project, you will need some type of leather and suede. I'm using an old boot, scissors, thread, a needle, a clothing snap, and a measuring tape. Start by measuring around your wrist where you want your bracelet to sit, so further up your arm than your wrist bone. Then add one inch to that measurement, and then fold it over so that the tip of the measuring tape is at that measurement. Then find the middle of that bow and line that up with the middle of your folded over piece of fabric. So my measurement was seven inches, so I'm measuring three and a half inches from the fold in this fabric. So since it's folded over, it will double and fold out to the full measurement. Then cut out a rectangle in that measurement and then fold the rectangle over lengthwise you'll have one folded edge and one raw edge. Starting at the raw edge, begin by cutting off that raw corner in a nice smooth curve, and then follow that curve all the way up to the corner of your rectangle of fabric. When you cut that off, you should be left with a slightly elongated pill shape of fabric. Then you're ready to start with the folds. Thread your needle, and then gather the fabric along the fold. When you gather, you'll want to make sure that the raw edges of your fabric are pointed down, and then pinching it between two fingers, stitch through so that your folds will stay in place. I recommend stitching through two or three times first, and then after you've stitched through a couple of times, you can just wrap the piece of fabric to hold those folds in place. Then, once you've wrapped it around several times, turn over the piece of fabric and stitch through a couple times underneath. And once you've stitched through the thread a few times, you can just break off the thread and everything will stay in place. Then you'll want to take your alternating type of fabric. I'm using this faux leather that was from the inside of the boot. Then cut an elongated tab that will wrap all the way around your folded section of fabric and cut it to fit that size. You can make the tab as wide or as narrow as you want. Then begin stitching that in place on the underside. You'll want to stitch through once, and then as you stitch through a second time, you have that loop of thread that you're pulling through. Take the tail end of your thread and place it through the loop, and then completely tighten the loop. This is going to hold that stitch in place so that you don't have to bother with tying a knot in the end of the thread, and your work is not going to come unraveled. Stitch through a few more times and then work your way back to the area where you started and then you can do the exact same thing when you're finishing off your stitching. Before you pull the thread all the way through, put your needle through the loop and you can just snap off that thread. Next, figure out where you need to place your snaps so that your cuff fits comfortably. Then place your snaps and stitch them into place. I don't recommend you use fabric glue or any kind of replacement for this. It just needs a couple of stitches to hold the snaps in place. Do the exact same thing when you start them. Make sure you pull the tail end of that thread through the loop first and then tighten the loop and then keep stitching your work into place. Your snaps will have a female side and a male side, so you'll want to make sure that you're placing the snaps in the right direction onto the cuff. So before you place your second snap, make sure that the way that you're attaching it to your cuff is going to fit onto the other end that you've already secured in place. It would be horrible to have to go through all that work stitching it into place and then find out that the snaps are incompatible because you put one of them upside down. And those are the finished bracelets that I made. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more projects like this one, make sure you hit the like button below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get updates when I post new videos. Bye.